Hey y'all, it has been a hot minute since I have done, well, any videos, but I haven't done a haul in quite a while. And we recently decided to get a Costco membership. And today we did our first trip and it was a doozy. So I thought I would do a little haul. Y'all, we spent over $700 today. But uh, the plan is this is going to be like a once a month thing. We head up to, to the Costco up in Knoxville and um, get everything as much as possible for the month and that's good to go. So today is really big and it was our first trip. So there were things that, you know, we stocked up on that, you know, we shouldn't need to buy again for quite a while and, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We have a, our, the back of our vehicle is jam packed. So I'm not totally sure how I'm going to do this. Probably have to do like maybe bits and pieces at a time, but and I definitely don't know what prices things were. So, um, but about to show you all what about a $725 worth of stuff at Costco looks like. All right, I'm pretty proud of how Keith got this all uh, smashed in. So first we got, we got a bag of Boom Chica Pop and we got two bags I kept hearing, I was seeing on hauls um, that everyone really liked these organic tortilla chips. So we grabbed two bags of those. So there's one here and there's one here. Um, we got quite a few bread kind of products. We're planning to get these. We had just bought a new upright freezer um, because we got this Costco membership. So we've got some hamburger buns and we have hot dog buns. Um, in the front, we actually, we still have stuff up in the seat right over here. And we've got a couple loaves of bread that I'll show you here in just a minute. Maybe they'll do some of this little stuff and get it out of the way. So we needed Italian seasoning, so we got that. We were out of Tylenol and um, ibuprofen, so we got some of that. Keith needed some vitamins, so he got some fish oil. Um, this basil pesto was on sale, so I'm going to look it up and see if this can freeze. I might try to get back and get some more and get that in the freeze. Oh, it says to freeze, so you can freeze this. So I might go back and get some more of this. And then I saw this garlic spread seasoning, which looked really good. We like to make a lot of our own um, like garlic bread, so I thought that was, looked really good. So I grabbed some of that. <clears throat> uh, we got some Greek yogurt. We eat a lot of that. We needed taco seasoning, so we've got a package of that. Um, we actually got two of these. I'm not sure where the other one is uh, back here. Um, we got two Parmesan cheeses. We use quite that quite a bit. I like to make like um, breaded chicken, and so I'll bread it with bread crumbs and Parmesan cheese. Um, they had these sheets were a member deal, so we grabbed those for cheap. Um, we got these two bottles of organic salsa. These were a super great deal. This is part of the um, members only kind of sale they have going on right now. So we ended up with three of these. So I think um, we actually we have some yogurt tubes in the fridge. I think all three of these are going to go in the freezer for now. <laughs> totally have to do this in bits and pieces. So I'm like running in and putting things in the fridge real quick. So um, I grabbed this package of from cheese tortellini. There's like two little sections there. That's a great pasta option. I got these are um, five one pound chubs of lean ground brief. That was like three fifty something a pound, which I thought was a pretty decent deal. We got some milk. I don't know if we will regularly regularly buy milk at Costco, but we needed it, and so we grabbed it. Um, we've got some cheese singles. We got some of these multi grain crackers. I saw a lot of people with them in their cart, and I've just I think I've seen them in other hauls on YouTube, so I wanted to try them. Okay, our family goes through cottage cheese quite a bit. I like to have it on the table because it's kind of a protein source. My girls won't eat whatever meat I've got going on. So we grabbed some cottage cheese. Um, we've got two of these packages of romaine hearts. So we've got one here and we've got one here. Would love any tips that you have on how to keep romaine. Um, we're going to kind of experiment with some different methods on how to keep romaine longer um, because it's a great price but if we're only going to go there once a month we kind of need to be able to store it so that it'll last so we've got two of those Brooke is forever begging me to make lemonade so I've got this big thing of lemonade I see a lemonade stand in our future um, Girls love the little cucumbers. Why they're so much different than regular sized cucumbers, I don't know. But anything to get my girls to eat cucumbers is fine by me. So I got that little bag of cucumbers. 
Again, if I share anything and you want to know the price, leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to track it down. We needed some jelly, so we grabbed some of this organic strawberry spread. We love trail mix, so we have a big bag of trail mix. And uh, celery hearts. We eat a lot of celery hearts. So um, this is four organic celery hearts. All right, I went into the front to grab the kind of cold and frozen stuff that I hadn't grabbed yet. So we got a big bag of meatballs. We use those quite a bit. I have like a slow cooker meatball recipe that we like. We throw it in pasta all the time. So big bag of meatballs. We've got some of these panko breaded um, chicken tenderloins. Those will be great by themselves. And then we've got in here somewhere that we've got some buffalo wild wing sauce that we're super excited to toss those in. We have um, this popcorn chicken, which we also thought would be great with the buffalo wild wings sauce. So we've got some of that. We've got some dinner rolls. And then we've got two of these big, well, four of these big bags of cheese. Um, we have some of these nature Valley Valley protein bars that our girls love to have. Well, actually, I take that back. Brooke doesn't. Leah does love these to have these before school. Um, and then I've always wanted to try this Dave's Killer Bread, and it seemed like a pretty decent price. So I have two of those that I'm going to try. And then we also got these two Nature's Own um, two packs of whole wheat bread that are going to go in the freezer um, to have on hand and when we need to. All right, y'all, we are chugging along, and I f I'm getting a little less nervous about all the cold stuff, so <laughs> and slow down a little bit here. Um, all right, so we've got some of these organic applesauce pouches. I try not to get too much of this, like, single-serve stuff until school starts, but these are still pretty good snacks for the girls to have, and we are still on the go quite a bit, so got some of those. Um... The girls asked for these, and that was fine again. Um, I really try not to have these kind of snacks when we're at home, but when we're on the go, I don't mind having these on hand for them. Uh, we went ahead and grabbed mac and cheese. Not going to lie, this is dinner sometimes, because it just is what it is. So um, this was a great deal, so we're going to make sure we have these on hand. Uh, we don't do a whole lot of cereal, but Keith requested Lucky Charms, and so Keith requests we get. So we got some Lucky Charms, and I'm sure Leah is more than, well, both girls, I'm sure, are happy to see that back in the pantry. i just adjust right here for a second, put stuff down. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Um, okay, so I had heard that these were really good, like, quality, and they were a good price. And, I mean, they're dinosaur-shaped, so you know the kids are going to love them. So grab some of these dino chicken nuggets. And then, I don't know that I've seen anyone talk about these, but they seemed like a great price. Um, it was like six something for these 12 sandwiches. So it's the patty and the bun. Obviously, there's no lettuce or tomato on them. Um, but I just, I thought they were worth a shot. It could be like a, a pretty easy lunch or something maybe. It takes like two minutes in the microwave. So I grabbed some of those. Um, Keith was all excited to try this Kirkland um, like variety pack of uh, craft beers. So I'm sure we'll probably crack into those pretty soon. And he's very antsy to get these in the fridge. So he's probably glad that I'm finally filming these so he can go get them in the fridge now. But first, I'm going to show you. These said they were the ultimate fish stick. And we like fish sticks and breaded fish frozen kind of things. So got some of those for in the freezer. We needed... I just ran out of extra virgin olive oil. So grab some of that. I think I'm going to get a container to like put like have a small amount that's like a usable amount and then I'll have the big tub that's kept in the pantry these caught my eye when we uh, did our little tour of Costco last weekend and so I just I couldn't pass them up I tried not to do too many of these kind of impulse things but I just couldn't pass those up um, I've heard good things about this dressing so we grabbed some um, we just used the last of our apple cider vinegar so we grabbed some of that and then these are the Buffalo Wild Wing sauces that I was mentioning. These happen to be our absolute favorite flavors. So it was kind of a no-brainer. Um, and I think it'll be really good with that frozen chicken um, that we got. And then it looks like we've got a bag, a big, big old bag of baby spinach. Um, Keith takes salads to work every day, so he's going to take a big bunch of that. And then I'm also going to make little baggies to throw in the freezer for smoothies. So I think that'll work well for that. And then we've got a big... 
package of strawberries. We're going to go get that in the fridge. All right, I also had, had a couple things that I had to carry on my lap because we were so packed up everywhere. And we may have opened a few things on the ride home. One of those being the big 24 count of the chocolate chip cookies. I'd heard these were amazing and they were pretty good. And then Miss Leah had been promised pirate booty um, for some good behavior she had at school. And so we let her open that up. There was that. And then we also grabbed um, five dozen eggs. We go through eggs pretty decently. So we're going to boil up a bunch, um, have some hard-boiled eggs. And then I eat like two or three eggs a day typically. So get those in the fridge. Um, they had a member sale on batteries, so we grabbed, went ahead and grabbed those. Uh, Keith was needing some socks, so um, he grabbed him some socks. So nice, seemed like nice and thick socks. Um, then we needed some paper towel, grabbed some Kleenex, we were out of that. Um, we have some peanut butter crackers for snacking, uh, Cheez-Its, Again, for snacking, this is some Ritz. Um, well, here, I'll show you this first. We grabbed some coffee. Um, we're going to try the Kirkland brand out. And then if not, we'll probably go back to our Folgers because we fancy like that. Um, so here, let me see if I can grab this Ritz out. There are the Ritz crackers. Um, we do a lot of, like, homemade Lunchables and things like that. So these are handsies, handy to have. Um, we like to do snacky lunches and dinners and things like that. So Ritz are pretty much staples and we were out. And then we, I've heard and seen a lot about these premier protein shakes on other YouTube hauls. And the girls have been having like carnation instant breakfasts in the morning, which are fine. Um, but I just, I noticed that these have way more protein and a lot less sugar. So if they get into those, I think I'm would be happier with that so and if not Keith and I will drink them no problem um, so we're gonna try those and then last yes I drank the Kool-Aid and I got the big set of OXO containers just seemed to make sense when we got the Costco membership to to go ahead and invest in that too I just I love these containers I try to get them like here and there I used to be able to get them like TJ Maxx real cheap um, just like the single ones but this was, I think we looked it up on Amazon, and it was like $120 for this set. The regular price was 80 something and then the member price was 60 something So just couldn't pass that up. Um, I think we'll be able to use just about all those sizes some way or another. Maybe not in the pantry, but I'm sure there's a use for them. So that, I think, is it for our big Costco haul. All right, so that was our... First trip to Costco, Costco haul. Um, Keith said that was like $725. Again, um, you know, that was our first trip. We bought things like the OXO containers and things like that. That won't be a regular thing. Um, as I learn more about like the prices and how long it takes me to use stuff, I'm sure I'll get that, um, I'll get that kind of weaned down a little bit. I'm definitely not planning to spend $700 plus dollars there every month. But um, I think we did okay for our first trip. If you have any suggestions or, you know, hey, don't get this here or go and look for this at Costco or any of that, totally appreciate it. If you have any tips on how to make anything we got last longer, like the spinach or the romaine lettuce, definitely want to hear about it. Um, and I'm just going to tell you, I'm sorry that I was like so rushed and out of breath. It, one, I wanted to get all the frozen stuff put away. So I was like, get to the frozen refrigerated stuff. Um, and it's hot. <laughs> and I just want to be inside. I'm not going to lie. So hopefully that wasn't too uh, distracting that I can like barely breathe and kind of rush through that a little bit. <laughs> but it's hot, y'all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Costco hauls when we head to Costco or anything else, uh, drop me a comment. Subscribe like the video, do all the YouTube things, and I will see you again real soon.